Hey guys, SerpentX here. Today I'm going to be talking about AMD drivers and what's best for mining uh, on your AMD graphics cards. Of course, uh, mining is not as profitable right now, but I'm still going to talk about it. Uh, long story short, I did some testing and found uh, a driver because a couple of the guys in Discord, uh, not only on Seth Estrada's uh, YouTube's uh, Discord, but Gamers Nexus and a couple others um, Discord was basically asking about what drivers would be best and uh, primarily made this video or making this video uh, because a, a partner of mine asked that question so I wanted to see for myself. Now I told him that the blockchain driver which is 17.30 is the best one uh, and these drivers from AMD can actually uh, benefit cards from the HD 7700 series down here all the way up to RX Vega uh, and the most recent drivers are 18.8.1 18.5.1 and then I have uh, two more that I tested out 18.3.4 and then the block train driver which is 17.30 now in my testing what I found out was I expected the blockchain compute driver to be uh, you know because everybody's using that driver for mining I, I figured that would be the best one out there completely uh, and when I did my testing don't pay attention to the numbers here on the left but the numbers here on the right when I did my testing uh, the compute driver was good or blockchain driver is pretty good uh, but I actually found something a lot better. So let's look at the numbers here. So 17.30, and this is on my XFX uh, Radeon 7870 graphics card. Not exactly the top tier like the RX 500s or the RX Vega, but you can still install the drivers that these video cards like the RX uh, 480, 580, uh, Vega 5664 would use and kind of get an understanding of which driver probably would be best. The problem, however, is that each driver get, gets updated on a frequent basis. So here we are, uh, numbers on the right are what we're looking at here. So we got 124, uh, you know, 24.5. So Kryptonite V7 on my 7870, 124 hashes. And let's see if we can move up to one more because Kryptonite is going to be the most profitable currency for me to mine on the 7870. Probably not the best because if I'm not counting electricity it's the most profitable but if I'm getting charged electricity for it I'm not using uh, solar, wind, or hydro uh, then I'm having to pay a, a steep electric bill with not much profit. So this is just if you're zeroed out. Otherwise it's not going to be profitable to mine on this card but the main goal is which driver is best for your AMD graphics card. That's what we're looking at here. So performance wise, what I found is the best driver is not the, even though the 18.5.1 uh, got me, what is that, uh, about six more hashes. Yeah, about six more hashes. I found that the best driver is the 18.3.4. Now that's the one tier down or two tiers down from what's currently out, which is 18.7.1, which I discussed, or excuse me, 18.8.1. Now I'm going to be throwing out these numbers, these uh, driver numbers, but realistically when somebody gets on Reddit or a forum or Discord and it's just like which driver is the best, it really comes down to you testing it out in your system. Uh, I just wanted to test it out for my own sake to find out if the blockchain driver is still relevant. What it seems AMD has done is basically take that same compute driver and just package it in with the most recent while patching, you know, newer games that are coming out for different platforms or different PC, uh, PC games that are coming out uh, and optimizing just like Nvidia does. You know, these guys, there's a new game coming out. They got to, uh, you know, create a driver pack that patches any particular issues that the game developers found or beta testers, stuff like that. Um, and the drivers are just going to keep coming and things are just going to keep on getting better. AMD in my eyes tends to have a they have a tendency to make their cards better over time so when they first release the drivers are sufficient but as time goes on the optimizations they do 
makes the graphics cards really better. And in, in, in my eyes, it's better than NVIDIA. But I have all NVIDIA cards, so you can't say that I'm an NVIDIA shill or AMD shill. I'm just saying that performance-wise, like a fine wine, AMD gets better over time. Much better performance boost than NVIDIA does, uh, just from what I've seen. And on this 18.34 driver, uh, let's look at the, the most common one. So Kryptonite V7, which is the most common um, you know, for AMD period. And then Ethereum, this card can't mine Ethereum, so I don't have those numbers for you, unfortunately. I'm trying to see what else that uh, AMD is really good at. Let's look at these numbers right here. Qubit, which nobody uses. If you use it, I'm sorry, I don't use it. Um, Lira 2, Revision 2, so we're about 2.24, 2.17. So now let's go back to the compute driver. 1.94, 1.96, okay? And that's with two different miners. So we're actually getting quite a, quite a decent boost um, performance-wise with the 18.3.4 driver. And then if we look at uh, Qubit, 4.7, 4.28, and go back to the compute driver, we're getting 3.7, 3.82. So again, a, a decent hash rate increase. Not, not enough to write home, but this is on the HD7870, so keep this in mind. The, we're just looking at performance numbers, and then you can decide for yourself if this driver is gonna be for you. Um, let's see here, X11, I don't think a lot of people use that. Uh, so I mean, really, Crypto Knight's the only one that I would I would count. Neo Script, 547 kilohashes, 477. Okay, and then um, yeah, X11. So on the compute uh, blockchain driver, 2.52 mega hashes, 2.59, 3.07, 3.14, and then I even went to the latest driver before 18.81 came out. Um, and it's not much better. Like 18.344 still still has the lead. Uh, Skin, for example, on the blockchain, 207 on the 18.34, uh, um, 254. So 207, 254, and then if I go to the most recent, it's 301. So the 18.51 driver is better in certain algorithms than the blockchain driver and the 18.34 in my eyes is the best all-around driver so not only is it optimized for most most modern games of course not games coming out in the future you might want to install the latest drivers for that but if you want to be able to play the most modern games that most triple-a titles that are out and have a decent mining rig uh, you know when you're not using your system for whatever reason the 18.3.4 driver is probably going to be the best mining driver that you can get out there period the blockchain driver is, is not keeping up uh, unless AMD decides to to do a more recent compute driver update uh, so for right now AMD uh, is, is improving through its drivers it's making these optimizations that's making it more relevant in the gaming space and I, I think if you're if you're asking yourself what is the best AMD driver to mine with right now it's going to be 18.3.4. Now the 18.81 is basically giving me the same performance as 18.51. So, like I said, it's better in certain algorithms, uh, but not all of them, like 18.3.4. So what you want to do is, you don't want to ask the question, what driver is the best for my RX 580s or RX 480s? Or oh, well, you do, you can. You know, that's the whole point of the mining community is that we collaborate with each other, we, we talk to each other, we're open with each other. Um, and then you just need to find out for yourself. So you install a driver, you run a benchmark, whether it's through Awesome Miner, Nice Hash, whatever you like to use. Prefer I, I like Awesome Miner, but you know, there's a lot of other mining programs that you can utilize out there. Install the drivers, run the benchmark a couple times, two to three, get a decent average, compare that against your last driver and then maybe install the latest driver and compare that again because there's always going to be optimizations there's always going to be updates to these drivers and you can't there's no one definitive answer and it depends on the algorithm that you're mining so if there is an algorithm for example on 18.51 that you like 
which we found out that on the 18.51, it's better at mining skin, I think. No, that's 18.34. So 18.34 had uh, 254, but the skin on uh, 18.51 was 301. So we got about 50 kilohashes more. Not much, again, to write home about, but again, this is on a lower tier card. So you might see a dramatic improvement on your RX 580s or 480s or Vegas or 56s and 54s, whatever it may be. So install the driver, run your benchmarks, average it out between three runs, and there's your number. If it's better at an algorithm that you're interested in or a currency that you're interested in that that algorithm is on or that you have to mine an algorithm for, that's going to be your deciding factor. So as far as saying definitively what's the best, right now 18.3.4 on this present date of August 11th, 2018 is you're going to be your best mining driver that you can use. But that will change going forward. So keep updating, keep testing, and find it out for yourself. And if you happen to bump into some research, share it with the community on Reddit, Discord, all that good stuff. Um, I like to say that Seth Estrada um, is a very unique gentleman. Um, his YouTube channel, if you don't know, uh, if you never heard of it, um, I you know keep up because he talks to a lot of developers, uh, and there's a lot of information out there. And not only on his YouTube channel, not only by talking to developers, but inside the Discord, uh, a bunch of unique and, and, and wonderful individuals that are very helpful. So if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Uh, there should be links to his Discord in his actual YouTube channel. I'm not going to share that link unless uh, you know I have his permission, but you can certainly go to his channel, check it out, grab the link, and you'll be able to communicate with a lot of people. And if you have questions there, uh, normally you can leave comments and, and on his video or on, in the Discord and it will work out. But really what I found, if you're going to actually get into mining, you want to essentially be in multiple mining discords. So Gamers Nexus has a mining discord. Now they don't focus on mining, Gamers Nexus themselves, but their mining channel. There's a bunch of us in there communicating, talking to each other. Uh, talking about rigs, uh, drivers, all kinds of sorts of stuff. And when you when you collab in these different mining discords, uh, there's a lot of information you can retain and a lot of information that you can use to benefit your setup. So I hope this video helped you out. It's not much of a, a video regarding what is best or what is recommended. There is no final recommendation. There is no one singular point that I can say you know this is the all-around greatest but it is a better driver and that's 18.3.4 when you're mining with your AMD GPUs so I'll leave you with that thanks for watching like share subscribe and comment below I'm still waiting on my uh, FPGA the Acorn uh, CLE 215 things got held up with the VCU 1525 but uh, I'm patient I'll wait it out uh, we should be getting updates on the regular. The guys there have been really good. The support's been really good. The billing's been really good. Uh, those guys are going above and beyond. So uh, I, I'll let you know as soon as I can get that guy installed, get some benchmarks, I'll come out with another video. So be patient, guys. I'll talk to you later.